Hi, I'm Andrew Camphy. I've been using Google Sheets and Google Apps Script for over 10 years. I've been making my own Google Sheet lead magnets for a few years now. I run Better Sheets for the last three years. And before that, I ran the operations of a startup for five years where we scaled from zero to four 24 hour broadcast channels across continents and we ran everything through Google Sheets. What I'm trying to do today for you is show you how to take this exact lead magnet and turn it into an awesome, awesome some lead magnet in Google Sheets. We're gonna go do that today, now. Hi, Andrew Kempfe here with Better Sheets, helping you make better Google Sheets every single day. The lead magnet we're making better today is literally a lead magnet I got myself and I wanted to get way more out of it and I wanted to show you where my thoughts are on how this could be better. Devin Knopp is apparently a faceless YouTube channel expert and he's given this list of 200 faceless YouTube channels that are making over $100,000 a year, I imagine, or total. And it is a Google Doc. It is literally a list. But I think it could be way better. I'm interested in this for a few reasons. One, I run my own YouTube channel, BetterSheets.co. I run my own tutorial business and a YouTube channel as well. And I'm very interested in understanding how people who are not necessarily experts in something create a YouTube channel that is viewed by many people. Because I myself am a YouTube not a YouTube expert, but I am a Google Sheets expert. So I'm trying to fill that gap between the YouTube knowledge. And here's a YouTube expert who's sharing his knowledge, but is he really? And so that's what we're gonna go through today. I got a copy of this list. It is literally a list and it is over 200 channels. There is a little bit of an error here. Publish, X, and Tour are on the same thing, so there's actually 202 here. And then there's also a list of 30 figure channels, but that is it. now. This is free, so you don't really expect much from it. And I didn't expect much. It is a bunch of links. That is it. But I think for Become Viral and for a Faceless Channel Academy, someone who is trying to share their expertise and for all intents and purposes, this looks like something that if I'm getting it, I may be interested in taking his course or get training directly from him. And so I want to know that this person is beyond a doubt understanding what is a faceless channel and how it works and what it's doing and how I can create a faceless channel myself, right? And to do that through a freebie, through a free giveaway is fairly hard, right? This is a list, it's okay. But I myself, as someone who's interested in this and trying to study faceless YouTube channels to understand what they are doing, I really, really wanted more. So let's look at their, their site for a moment and see what is sort of going on, right? So this is channelacademy.com and it doesn't tell me much more. How we leverage simple YouTube videos to generate passive income, blah, 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 without ever showing your face. Cool. Show me now. I actually clicked this. I signed up for it to watch some training. It was not very good. Becomeviral.com seemed even better than Faceless because it like is who they are and they apparently are working with or creating these channels. But again, this is all like fairly top level or face level, surface level, sorry. And I can't really understand how they are an expert. Even when I read their About Us, and I even looked at their success stories and I even watched their testimonials. I think on the success story one, here's the video that I just watched. It was like a 20 minute video that I don't think it really said much anything. It was sort of just a sales thing. So like, honestly, I don't think they really wanted to put much work into this, but if they do and they're watching this, then here I'm gonna explain how Google Sheets, I think could absolutely make this, this freebie an absolute amazing tool. And that tool can then actually get you real people who actually want to buy your buy your tutorials, buy your training, and follow you yourself more, all through a freebie. So I put everything into a Google Sheet, first of all. And the key here is to how to express two things, your experience, your experience and your expertise. But we do that with con data and augmenting an initial list. So we got this list right here. I got the URL from this. These are all embedded URLs in these like links, right? And one of the hardest things in Google Sheets to do is to take this URL that's inside of here. I just copy pasted all these and I show you in another video. So there's another video called extract URLs from Google Sheets. And it is this, here I'll show you, extensions app script. It is this particular app script, but there's a funky way to use it. This function get link, you have to write this function or copy it from the, the video that I have and then use it. And I did that. And so I got every single URL. I then added, see that it's just this and about 
to get a link directly to the about page to make the next few steps much, much easier. So that's one thing I will tell you. Just go watch that video, get it, extract URLs from Google Sheets by Better Sheets, and you'll get these URLs from here. That makes it a lot better. Let's talk about what we can do to add to this initial list. Again, what we got was just a Google Doc of links. So you're saving me 10 to 12 hours-ish. If you, instead of just saving me time, if you expressed your expertise and shared a unique takeaway from each of these channels, I would be all over your, I, I would, be, I would be absolutely indebted to you, right, from that giveaway. So what we can do here is categorize these. That's a pretty simple thing. It takes some amount of time, a little bit more than just copy-paste URLs, to understand what are categories. What I could also express to these categories is the idea of niches, right? What niches are people already doing? Then I could look at just categorizing them by revenue, right? Maybe there's more specific revenue than six figures and seven figures here. I could add the view count. So on this about page, so we go here and this is, takes a few moments, right? Once we have this about link, we can take it and it'll pop Let's up call. here. Let's go here. We have this about 96 videos, 78 million views. So 90 videos, what is it? 76 views. I think I got that wrong. 70, so 96, and 78. So 78 million, I'll just round it there. And then I have this average view counter here. I just did this with if is blank and round, there you go. So it's hiding here. This if is blank is the cool part. It's hiding here until I enter some numbers and then it's rounding D8 divided by E8. So it's getting us an average view count. So maybe I wanna organize these by average view count, see which, or sum up these categories to say, what's the highest view count for a category per category what is the most neat most neat the biggest niche here right those things in that analysis from clear data could give me something to write about i could have some cat some tabs here where i write about these findings okay i looked at the two these 200 faceless channels i categorized all of them i got their video count view count average view count i found out which of these categories has the highest average view count? I looked at these categories and summed up all of their views to find out the total market value of all these faceless, right? What findings did I find from this? What I would also do, might do, and what I'm doing in my own personal use of this for my own personal exploration of faceless YouTube videos is I'm taking the very most popular YouTube video from each one and then putting it right here. Just understanding what is the number one top video from this channel, what's the title? So I'm then going to read through all these and I might even put this into like ChatGPT myself because I don't know this. And I'm gonna ask like ChatGPT, what are some interesting takeaways from all of these top YouTube videos? One thing that I did notice just from the first one, two, three, four, five, is that the channel was not necessarily bringing new information to light for that category. So if you were like interested in Ronaldo, right? Or sports, you might, already know these things. What it was doing was sort of, I don't even want to say explaining, it was sort of bringing to light these fairly well-known things, but to a much broader audience beyond this category. It actually seems to be videos about something niche, but for someone who may, may be interested in that niche, that is not deep in that niche. So this is like Marcus Aurelius, right? And it has some title, which is like, it gives some, some question of, interest, curiosity gap. And this is a very popular thing in YouTube channels and YouTube videos and between the YouTube video and the title is to have some curiosity gap. And I noticed it here. The US government hid this about the Vietnam War. So you know, okay, I, I may be interested in wartime information. I may be interested in US government stuff and I don't know the answer to this. And if I do know the answer to this, I might still click on it because I'm like, did they get it right? So even if I am deep, 10 times Ronaldo shocked the world, I might be like, hey, I follow you, Ronaldo a lot. Did they get this right? Bam, I'm gonna click this. It's not telling you the answer. It's it's giving you this curiosity gap, this lawsuit file. Like, I like this, this title, number of um, some money taken, developed, zero game delivered, lawsuit filed. So like, what video game is this? I might actually know this video game and I might even already have read the story, but I don't, it doesn't tell, it doesn't tell me in this title, this is the game that was never made, right? And that might be a title that I myself come up with is the title, the video game that was never made. Right? But that's not interesting. That not, doesn't create a curiosity gap. Marcus Aurelius, the man who solved the universe, this actually does create a curiosity gap. Even, even though it is about Marcus Aurelius or from him of his work, the man who solved the universe, what is the problem? So the curiosity is not the solution, but the problem. Okay, he solved the universe. What was the problem of the universe? That was interesting, just in these first few ones. And so if this person who created this, this list understood 
these ideas, maybe could con them create different categories of video title formats. Could say, a key takeaway from this channel is curate articles because I think actually one of their actual channels they manage or work with worked with is taking controversial Reddit posts and showing them on YouTube. And so like if this is a channel about philosophy that like you can just read about it and ex then like explain it. So say that. Say this is philosophy explained. This documentary channel takes the where do they find these ideas? Where is their sources? Is it Reddit? Is it Quora? Is it SmartStack? not smart stack, stack social, no. Is it Hacker News, right? Is it what, where are they getting it? And what are some examples in addition to this that you could do as a faceless channel? So if, if, if it's curating Reddit, can you go and curate Hacker News? Could you curate Twitter? Could you curate Twitter right? Writer Twitter, tech Twitter, is it news? Like business stories, there's also a couple here that are like news-ish, The Economist here. Are they taking business, news-oriented business stories and explaining them or them or contextualizing them? What are they doing to this? And what can you, what can I take away from this? These are all questions that this person who created this list could be adding to. Here's a key thing about, here's a key takeaway I wanna give to you is if you think this is, takes a long time and you're like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm I want to create the lead magnet, but I don't want to put so much work into it until I know that it's a lead magnet that people want. So here's, here's what I would do. And I've done this many times actually with lead magnets is create the initial version of the lead magnet as minimum. And this is it, right? A Google doc with all these links, but I would say make, make a Google sheet, put a little bit of effort into it and then release it, put it up on Gumroad for free. So you capture people's emails and then give them updates. Be like, hey, I just added three more, three more line columns to this, three more pieces of data, a hundred pieces of data, 600 pieces of data. I just added, I just scraped all of these for this. And then I created an analysis. You can release a lead magnet over time, over many, many launches, right? You can first launch it to your email list. You can then launch it to on Twitter. Then you can launch it on Hacker News. If you then productize it, if you put in little formulas and tools in here, like Maybe you put in some kind of AI generator from this connected to, if you haven't yet, check out Adventures in AI on Venco. It's a course that I, you, I share with you how to put AI into sheets and I should go through a lot of different projects and show you lots of cool different ways to do it, right? Those could all be launches of this particular lead magnet. You don't have to create a lead magnet and then done. You can launch it over and over again. So I think this could go a lot more deeper into this and I would love it way more. And here's also another piece of information about lead magnets in Google Sheets you might not know. You can sell them. You don't necessarily have to give everything away for free. If you're like, hey, here's this, here's this column and I'm gonna put my own expertise in there and I'm gonna go through each and every one of these. I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna have a video reviewing each and every one of these channels and share with you key takeaways. And it could take about 20 minutes, you know, 20 to 30 minutes each to make each of these Loom videos. And I don't necessarily wanna give this all away for free. You don't have to. Create this for free, send it out there and everyone who gets it, send them an update and be like, hey, I just started making videos. I, I created the first five. Go watch those for free. If you want the next 195, sign up for 50 bucks or $99 or $299. Um, put a price on it and say it's it's the exact same list, but it's augmented with all these 20 minute videos. And then each, every time that I have a key takeaway, I'm gonna add it to this other lesson, right? So in total, you're gonna get 250 videos from this. It'll be 50 bucks. Go ahead and support me and, and support this. And the thing is, this is one, going to give you an extra revenue, get, generate you extra revenue. But two, it's gonna generate you even deeper leads, better leads, because a lead magnet for free is gonna get everyone and their sister. And then in, the lead magnet itself is gonna be useful. So then you'll be able to get actually people who say, hey, this is awesome, share it. Make sure you have your name in here. What they did is at the very top, they had become viral, they had this two minute video to say, watch this to understand how to use this list. They did not explain how to use this list. They're just like, here's a list of faceless channels. Want to build a faceless channel using our systems? I wish they really shared more of their expertise and their system and said, hey, this channel shows this part of our system. This channel shows this part of our system and had more of a expertise on an authority. I would trust them more, but I would put their, if I was making this in a Google sheet, a lead magnet for them, I would have tabs explaining some systems. Maybe I would have an example of system one, system two, system three, or system part one, two, three, four, and then links to the system. I would have a start here tab. I would 
add a line at the top and have their name there. I would have their name at the bottom too, or even every 10. I do that with the 100 business ideas that I give away for free. Every 10, there's my bettersheets.co. So the reason is that this lead magnet should be so good that people share it. People download it, copy it, and then share it. The moment they do that, you want that person knowing where it came from. I would even put onto extensions app script a little note hey this is from you know faceless channel academy.com and i created these functions to help you and help me run this little sheet i added this function to like it's generating six figures how did we figure that out oh we took the number of views and we divided it by x number right probably a dollar per view or no dollar per thousand views so we, we understood oh we've seen these rpms on our channels so we assume that it's the same on these channels here's an average and we also you know do 80 percent of that share those little tips and these little things and these functions in this sheet and your sheet's so much cooler for it right all right so i hope you got something from this video sorry my voice is killing me it's new year's two days after new year's eve don't get me started i did not party other things happened that i lost my voice but i hope you got got something out of this video. If you did, let me know what you got out of it. Let me see your lead magnet that you're making even better. And if you're interested in this faceless YouTube list, you need to go to Twitter and ask Devin for it. I'm not going to give it to you for, for, from me. Get it from him. I hope his lead magnet works out and I hope he does make it better. I hope he does share with us, you know, more expertise because I, I really care. I'm, I'm studying this. I actually made this version to study for myself, but I don't have the experience that he does. I don't have the insight and inside information. And I don't know if these are the right niches, the right categories. I don't know if average views really matters. I don't know if the top video title matters or if it's the top 10 or top 20. And it's a lot of work, right? I could probably add, a, make a little script to get this top video title. I could probably scrape it easier here, but it's 200 and I have, I'm having a little bit of fun going through each one of these and seeing really what, what is working, what worked for these people and what can I do to make better sheets better. All right. Thank you for making your bleed magnets better.